All right, well, I've just had a look at the, um, the gram stain smears from his throat and his uh, feces. And what I'm seeing in the, in the throat smear, I'm seeing lots of large blue staining rod shaped bacteria and very few red ones. So that's relatively normal. In the feces, there's hardly any blue staining bacteria. There should be about 98% and there should be lots of them. I'm hardly seeing any of those. And what I am seeing is lots of red staining filamentous bacteria, long thin rods, which represents usually a form of coliform, a coliform infection. A coliform is a class of bacteria that stain red that normally live in our bowels but don't normally live in budgies. And uh, there are many, many different types of coliforms. I mentioned quite a bit of information about this in my book, Caring for Birds with Love. Um, so that information is there. Um, and if he hadn't already been started on antibiotics, um, I'd be sending a specimen off to a laboratory for a culture and sensitivity. I would be starting him on, if I'm working allopathically, working the usual best way. I'd be using um, antibiotics and um, I would, because he's already been started on Batril, I'd be continuing the, the course of Batril for that. There are other ways of managing him which are outside the square or outside the, um, the circle of traditional medicine um, and the one that um, I increasingly talk about is um, quantum and that can be done remotely. I've already mentioned briefly the you know the fact that we've got energy that goes from here down the street whatever that same energy can be um, same type of energy can be used to um, direct changes in his body uh, using quantum it can be very focused changes and it can be directed actually from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world so that is a, a, another approach to helping him uh, experimentally, we have to use the word experimentally, and we cannot use the word treatment, and we cannot use the word cure. All we can do is to, uh, using quantum, we can assess his body vibes, and the vibes of various bacteria and so forth, and we can make adjustments to those. And then sometimes it's very interesting to see how the body, the physical body, responds to those quantum adjustments. And again, on YouTube, Dr. Ross Perry, You'll see one of my own dogs featured. Cuddles is featured um, when she went down with a brain infection very quickly one afternoon and um, normally with drugs and um, uh, all the drugs that we would need usually to get that right would take four to six weeks in my experience as a vet previously. But in this particular occasion I chose to um, get help with quantum and uh, I chose not to give her any drugs, even though it was a potentially life-threatening situation. Um, and she came good within 48 hours. She was improving within 12 hours, and she was back to going on a bushwalk within 48 hours. Yeah. Even though she'd been previously staggering and twitching and starting to have fits. So, um, various options. Now, we can still send faeces away, um, but because antibiotics have already been administered, just one lot of antibiotics have already been administered, they may interfere with the ability of the laboratory to grow anything, in which case you're wasting $125. It normally takes four to five days to get the results back from the laboratory. We cannot wait four to five days to start treatment, I have to start treatment intuitively, or what I think is appropriate on my experience right now. Um, in terms of other things going, um, uh, my feelings are that it is very likely that your bird has metal poisoning from the gold paint yeah. that he's been eating. And it is very likely that his liver is also affected with what I call a toxic soup of other chemicals. And my approach to doing that, uh, to helping him, is 
very much along, if I'm working traditionally, it's very much along the lines that the other vet has already started him on. It would be an injection twice a day and I'm happy to teach you how to give injections if you want to have him at home to give him an injection twice a day for usually three to five days. It's usually usually in that order. Um, the, so that that is the standard way of getting treatment into him intensely. There is a gentler way, but um, maybe not quite as, as reliably effective quickly, which is to start him on a solution of zeolite and possibly to put some chlorella, that's a type of algae, in his um, um, powdered algae in his food. So the zeolite solution is given as drops by mouth and if he's staying here, I'd still be doing that. It's just whether or not we give him injections or a course of injections as well. Um, I'm not sure that he needs a course of injections. I do think we need to try and get this vomiting under control. And my intention is to, in the short term, if we're not using quantum, if we're not going the quantum way, um, then I would be going the drug way, which is to give him some metamide orally, or I'll start him with an injection, then some metamide solution orally. Uh, again, to try and speed emptying of his The only throat. thing that concerns me and, is the injection. Um, I, have a, I have worry about giving him an injection. I understand. Um, well, you've got to, you live about an hour and a half away. I'm happy to for you to take him back to your refer initial bit, okay? Um, or I was going to say, he can give the injection. I am happy if you do some a bit of work and you might be able to find a vet nurse in the area that can... I know oh, what I was saying. Is there any way that we can treat him without injections or is that... Yes, nice? there is. Oh, I can give him an injection today while I'm here if you're happy for me to do so. And then that's at least a second injection into him. Um, and then the... Or if you don't want me to do that, I will do my best to either use the zeolite solution that's what I would normally do, uh, and that that um, is likely to bind toxins, including heavy metal, mm -hmm. and draw them out of his body. It normally works at the um, interface of the intestine and the bloodstream. The zeolite solution, the uh, zeolite uh, particles lodge there, and they stop further absorption of poisons from his intestine, and um, they draw out any severely, heavily, positively charged ions such as lead, zinc, copper. Okay, you're the doctor, I've got right. my trust in you. Okay, thank you. Well, um, I'll start on, on that. Um, if I, I, I would prefer to give him an injection of calcinate while I'm here if, he, if the last injection was given 12 hours. You do what you have to do. Hmm? You do what you have to do. Right, okay. I believe he's in good hands. Right, thank you. Alright, well, I'll get um, some stuff ready for you and then I'll show you how I give drops by mouth. I'll clip his nails for you as per request. And um, um, we'll, we'll, we'll start him on some treatment and then I'll discuss with you a little bit more of this quantum aspect because that's the way I prefer to it. Okay. Right. Um, I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm happy to leave him here with you and we'll just. I'll ring you by phone or whatever and you can tell right. me his progress. Right, okay. And you just do what well, you think. Well, I'll give you a, I'll give you a quote for costs and all that sort of stuff so that you know where you stand yep. in advance. Uh, I think that's very, very important that you have an idea where you're going cost-wise. Certainly from legal perspective, I have to do that for you. Okay. Um, so I'll prepare that for you and um, the options, give you some options there and we'll make some decisions after that. Okay. Right? But in the meantime, I would like to start him on some things straight away. Okay. All right.